All right, good morning. So, I had a dream last night. Actually, this morning I woke up. I woke up at like 5. You know, I didn't really check the time. Usually I check the time. I'm like big on numbers. Um, I don't know. I think it was like 5. Like 40 something. I think it was close close to 6. But not quite 6. Maybe like 5.30. 5.40 something. Uh, my dream. I had a dream that, uh. Like water blessed the blessed uh New Mexico. Um. Yeah, water blessed New Mexico, and it was like somewhere between. I can't remember exactly, but it was like in my dream there was this map, and it showed me somewhere in between um Albuquerque, and the edge of Arizona. But it was like closer to Albuquerque. So like, yeah, this is Albuquerque, and this is. And this is the edge of Arizona and New Mexico. I'd say it was, like, here somewhere. But I also felt like there was something between Mexico, like the border of Mexico and there. Does that make sense? I don't know, but I'm, I'm thinking more, like, between Albuquerque and the, and the line there for Arizona. And I remember it not being scary. Um... I remember it being, I, I remember seeing people, like, I don't know if I was, like, at a topographical view of the, of that location, or if I was, um, if I was watching from a distance, it seemed like both, maybe, and I remember seeing people with, like, lawn chairs and, like, beach towels and stuff, <laughs> and they were, like, enjoying this new water source or whatever, uh, it seemed like a very happy thing, like, it wasn't scary. Like, however the water got there, I'm not exactly sure. It seemed like waves, but it wasn't scary. Like, I remember it not being a, a scary, traumatic experience. Um, <clears throat> I remember being enjoyed by lots and lots of people. Um, oh, so my feet hurt a lot. Uh, yesterday, <laughs> I walked 23 miles. <laughs> 23 miles I walked. I walked to Bloomfield. Well, you don't really, if you're not in Connecticut, well, it, it's uh, like 12 miles or something, 13 miles. Uh, I had some, I emptied out this pencil bag I got. You know what, I'll show it to you. I got this pencil bag. I don't know, I think I showed it in another video. I've had this thing since I was like seven or something, right? And it was filled up to like, like here, I think, something like that. I don't know. About there, something like that. Um, and it ended up, it ended up coming up to like, uh, like 135, 140, something like that. Not too bad. It was mostly quarters and stuff. I'm still rolling up the pennies. So, I rolled up the quarters, the nickels, the dimes, and then I walked to the Wells Fargo that was like 13 miles away. And then, uh, dropped off the rolled stuff, and then I got some penny, some penny sheaths, because they didn't have any here in Manchester. And, uh, I got cash, and then I, I walked to the Dunkin' Donuts that's right next door, and I had a couple coupons. <laughs> 99 cents for two donuts, so I went to Dunkin' Donuts, and I scarfed down two donuts, like, ain't no joke. Um, and then I got, like, some iced, uh, some iced, I don't know, it was like a, it was like a nutty candy bar, iced coffee something or other. It was pretty good, but it was really cold outside, so I was, like, not, I was trying not to drink it, because it would, like, that would freeze me out, you know what I mean? It's like, it, when I drink too many liquids... And then, or like too many like cold fluids, and then I go like walking outside or like biking outside. The evaporation is so incredible because I sweat so easily that it's like, oh, it freezes me out. It's so cold. So, <clears throat> yeah, then I get to my, my roommate's job in Bloomfield. It's still the same location. It's like a, but they're like a mile apart, like Dunkin' Donuts and his work. So I walk there, and then, you know, I say hi, and then he takes me. He, like, drives me back home instead of walking another 13 miles. Uh, and then, like, and then by now, 
it's like up to 19 miles or something like that just be, just from walking from like his work to the to the uh, Wells Fargo back and then and then what did I do oh yeah then I kind of relaxed a bit because my feet were hurting a bit I'm trying to think what I did oh yeah and then I worked out a lot like I did muscle stuff I got like one of them <clears throat> I got a Walmart. It's like one of those things. It's pretty awesome. So I did that for a while. And then I did some stomach stuff. And then, um. What else did I do? Yeah, I was like rolling pennies and did some laundry. I don't know, it was kind of boring. And then, and then, so it's like, it's like 11 o'clock, right? It's like, no. It's like 10, 10.30. And um, I was trying to sleep, and I couldn't sleep. I was thinking about my mom. <laughs> I was thinking about my mom, and, and then uh, I, I really couldn't sleep. So I was like, well, I don't know what to do. So I was like, hmm, I pictured McDonald's. <laughs> so, like, I, I, I located one on, like, my phone, and it was, like a, like, a mile away or something, and it's, like, 1030 at night. So, <clears throat> so I throw like a bunch of clothes on, and I get these, I get these hot hand things, <laughs> these hot hand things that I got at the at the store. I like the um, it's like a gas station right next door. So I pop these bad boys. You know, I shove them in my gloves, and I start walking to this place. And I finally get there. I got two cheeseburgers. And some fries. I got a two cheeseburger meal. And then I put clothes back. I put all my stuff back on. I peed there. And then I started walking. Well, I ran. I pretty much ran most of the way back home. By now. By the time I got home, it was 11. It's about 11 o'clock. So then I eat just the fries. And I'm like, oh, I'm full now. So then I go back upstairs. I try to sleep. And I'm like, man. I can't sleep. I still can't sleep. I come back downstairs. I eat the other two cheeseburgers. <laughs> I st and I was like, okay. I feel a little colder now. I don't know. It's like I finally, like, I don't know, calm my body down. And, and then I went back upstairs and started to sleep. And it was like I was all cold. And my cupboard was all bundled up. And the cats come on. And they're, like, all trying to keep me nice and warm and stuff. And I finally get, like, so warm and a little overheated in <laughs> bed. It was so funny. Uh, <clears throat> well, when I think about it, it was kind of a semi-boring day. It didn't feel like a semi-boring day. It felt like a very exciting day, so. Maybe I'm missing stuff that I should be talking about. Um, well, one thing I did notice is that it was very, very cloudy in the morning yesterday. And it was not, and it was super, super clear. And now I'm watching the sunrise. You know, let me see if I can... Show the sun film. Show you how beautiful this moment is. I don't know. Let's see if it works. Which one? Oh, this is amazing grace right here. That's beautiful. It's like more beautiful than this right now. Like more beautiful than this. Like more beautiful than this. Like more beautiful than that's awesome, isn't it? So pretty. Um, so, yeah, and then, you know, of course I wake up and I gotta get some coffees in my stomachs. Bam, coffee. So, uh, yeah, that, that was basically my morning and my yesterday. So today I got, uh, so today I gotta go see my brother's mom, and, uh, she's gonna take me out to lunch, so now I gotta walk, it's like six and a half miles or seven miles, something like that, so, I'm gonna walk to her house, and we're gonna go get something to eat together, and catch up, catch up on old times and whatnot, it's gonna be great, oh, I got this cup, I got this cup on thinkgeek.com, dude, it's so awesome, you put hot coffee in here? It was like binary code, but these right here, they light up. Well, they erase and light up depending on temperature. It's really cool. Okay, now I feel like I'm rambling. All right, well, that's all I had to talk.
to talk about right now. Oh, 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 and like yesterday, I was like feeling really sad and upset when I was walking like the whole 12 miles because I kept thinking about my mom and stuff like that and which I want her back. And uh, it was like my star family came through immediately and I could hear their voice and their voice sounded like, um, their voice sounded like, uh, like high pitch, but like a very, very soft, like, it sounded like emotion almost like crying but it wasn't crying that wasn't the feeling I got from it it was just emotion it was like the highest emotion ever or that's what it felt like it was it was soft and like I want to say warm but I remember being extremely comfortable and soothing and and um like when I think about eyes, when I think about looking into somebody's eyes and I and I picture that same voice, the eyes that show up in my brain is like um like the brightest eyes I can possibly imagine. Like you look in their eyes and they're and it's like this like shimmer and the sparkle and, and and um super awake but sensitive and soothing. And it was like a really, really beautiful voice and it like calmed me down immediately and it was like I I like stopped breathing you know what I mean like I literally stopped breathing and I could just hear and I was like oh it's my star family like I knew immediately it was them oh and it made me feel so much better and they were like you know I'm just trying to make you happy and calm down and and don't worry things are going to happen and I was like oh you know it was like a totally calm down stuff and you know, feeling better that they're taking care of me and taking care of, like, you know, my location and stuff like that. It made me feel so much better. So, um, I think that was, now that's all that I wanted to share. I really want to talk about that. Because, yeah, I feel like they, they're with me. I mean, I don't feel like it. I know they're with me all the time. Um, yeah, so it's great when I can hear their voice. Very nice. Alright, so thank you for watching. <laughs> and uh, have a good morning.